Yunus Sonner. He's the deputy chairman of Turkey's Patriotic Party. Uh, good morning to Yunus. Thanks for giving us your time this morning. Um, many people questioning the levels of security uh, at the exhibition last night where this tragic event took place. What are your thoughts? Do you feel there were obvious, um, obvious breaches there and, and perhaps authorities should have done a lot more? Well, first of all, I would like to offer uh, my condolences uh, to the family of Andrei Karlov and to the Russian people. As Patriotic Party, we had very good dialogue with the Russian embassy here in Ankara. Uh, concerning your question, I think this is a clear call uh, for Turkey to deepen uh, our cooperation with our neighboring countries in the f uh, fight against terrorism. I would not comment on the specific case uh, but there is a clear uh, need of deeper cooperation against terrorism as, uh, as I mentioned earlier in, in Russia today, as Turkey is leaving the Atlantic system, we will have to face the risk of more attacks like this. So uh, Turkey needs to take a clearer uh, stance and a more decided uh, stance towards cooperation against terrorism, especially international terrorism. Sure. I mean, as you know, Yunus, Turkey, Russia and Iran are due to talk about the situation in Aleppo today, the meeting in Moscow. What impact do you think this assassination will have on those talks? I don't think that it will have an in a negative impact. Uh, it will have a positive impact. Uh, actually, we consider this attack, of course, a sabotage, an attack, a provocation against Turkish-Russian relations, but we consider it also an attack on Turkey's general fight against terrorism. Remember, we had, it's the third uh, terror attack we have within 10 days. Uh, so uh, it is uh, here evaluated also part of a general attempt to destabilize uh, con the, the, the country, to destabilize Turkey. As you mentioned in your report, Turkey is presented as a country that is not able to protect foreign diplomats. So this again uh, highlights the, the need for a clear stance uh, and also uh, we consider here Russia a close ally. So Turkey and Russia should deepen further their uh, in intelligence sharing, their cooperation uh, against this international terrorism uh, composed in our region and fueled uh, clearly by Western powers. Yunus, I know it's still speculation at the moment and motives, um, what were the motives uh, behind this attack, but you mentioned there it could have been a way of trying to destabilise relations between Russia and Turkey, but who would actually benefit from that? Well, uh, who would benefit are all the terror groups that you can name, the jihadist terror groups as well as the PKK, which is here uh, also known for the two uh, deadly attacks uh, the Saturday before and the last Saturday. So all the groups that are uh, living out of uh, uh, the fruit of terrorism, uh, they will benefit in first line. Secondly, uh, the Fethullah Gülen organization who uh, tried an uh, attempt against the government would also benefit from a destabilization. But more than that, all those powers that are afraid of Turkey looking for its stance in Asia, in Eurasia and in Asia, uh, would benefit from that. Uh, this is, uh, this step, way of stabilization uh, helps them. And actually, it is noteworthy that uh, some American press organs immediately uh, recalled uh, some wars between the Ottoman Empire and the Russian Empire in 18, I don't know what, uh, to prolong the history of the 19th century uh, to today and present the picture as if Turkey and Russia had always and will always be in war. That is uh, noteworthy and uh, points that uh, the Atlantic system is also hoping in a, in a second crisis. But we don't think that this will happen because our geography has its realities, our countries have their needs and uh, the, both governments already sign out that they will deepen cooperation. But uh, I would suggest that Turkey should deepen its uh, move to Asia, uh, first as immediate talks with Syria on the matter of terrorism. And I would uh, apply, for example, in the membership uh, in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. That would be a clear, decided answer against this terror attack.
OK, look, we'll leave it there, but very good to get your thoughts. That was Yunus Sonner, Deputy Chairman of Turkey's Patriotic Party. Thank you.